welcome back to the Meeple Marathon and our continued coverage of Nemesis from Awakened Realms. In our last video, we talked about how to set up and the basics of gameplay for Nemesis. If you want to check that video out, it should be popping up in the upper right corner at this moment. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to take the setup we established in that video and the character we established, which will be the pilot, the green character from the base box, and we are going to do a solo playthrough. So really the only difference between playing solo versus cooperative versus the standard way to play, which is semi-cooperative, is the objective deck. <clears throat> so if you are playing solo or cooperative, you use these solo co-op objective cards and you can share them amongst yourselves. Um, if you are playing semi-cooperative, you have a personal uh, objective and a corporate objective, and a lot of times those could be like, you know, you be the only one that survives or kill player number whoever and such and such. But when you're playing solo, you don't have to worry about all that. We are simply here to try and complete one of these objectives, explore the ship and not die. Um, otherwise, um, you know, the turns are the same, your actions are the same, the intruders attack you the same, you have the same number of turns, and the ship is the same size. So it is a little tougher when you are playing completely solo because you have less people to go around and explore the ships to find the rooms you need. Uh, you may just simply run out of time. You don't get more rounds when you're playing solo. Um, all right, so again, like I said, I already covered the basics of gameplay in the last video if you wanna check that out. For now, we're just going to simply start playing and I will kind of explain things as I go along. So, all right, let's first talk about my two objectives here. One, cleanup crew, send the signal and the nest must have been destroyed or send the signal and the ship must have been destroyed. So, obviously you need to send the signal, which means we need to find the comms room and then take the action on the comms room, which is to send the signal there's even a spot on your board once you've sent the signal. The tough one about this is basically destroying the nest, either by destroying it individually or destroying the whole ship. That means that I then need to find the nest, destroy all the eggs inside of it, which right now is five over here on the intruder board, or I need to make sure the engines aren't working so when it does jump to hyperspace, it crashes or blows up or whatever. Um, and I have to make it to uh, an escape pod, which is not difficult. Um, I mean, it's not easy. It's it's rather difficult to get in these escape pods because you got noise rolls and you end up, often end up with encounters and a lot of people die right here. Or not necessarily right here, but in the uh, airlock or whatever these things are called, control room, escape pod, control room, or whatever it's called. <clears throat> so our other one, and this is the one I'm kind of leaning towards, is to find at least two intruder weaknesses must be discovered. So I did not cover this uh, in the last video, but the way you discover an intruder weakness is you have to carry the three heavy objects that are in the base game. That is a, uh, a human corpse, an egg, or an intruder corpse, which is a, another token similar to this that'll end up out on the board. If you have the terrain expansion, you get fancy miniatures for all these, but I don't. So um, you have to carry one of those. You have, first of all, you have to find the lab. Then you have to carry those objects to the lab and perform um, a uh, you know, inspection of them. And then you get to reveal whatever card is here on the intruder board that's underneath. So here's a character corpse or human corpse. Here's an intruder egg and here's an intruder carcass. So I have to basically carry this guy, find the lab, and then either kill an intruder or find the nest and carry an egg to the lab. But then that's it. I can either fix the engines, get in the hibernatorium and fly to earth, or I can then do an escape pod. So we'll see, we'll see how things are going. I don't have to decide on which objective I am trying to complete until the first alien comes out, which could be very soon, could be a ways from now. So I have some time to kind of explore around and see what's gonna happen. So. Since one of my objectives is to find the weaknesses, I think my very first action is going to be to pick up this dead fella here. 
put him on my player board. In doing so, I need to discard a card. Oh, so let's see here. I don't think I need rest right away. We're starting fresh. I'm gonna see all these cards a lot throughout the game, so I'm gonna give up rest to complete my basic action of picking up a heavy object, which is now this guy. Technically, this guy needs to go over here underneath my right hand to say that I am uh, carrying him. So I now have a shotgun in my left hand and a um, corpse in my right hand. And I could drop him at any point for a free action. All right, my second action, and again, it really doesn't matter that because I'm playing solo, so I need to stop saying second, first, and second. Um, Next, I'm going to move. I'm going to do a basic movement, which is just one card. So we're going to give up uh, hmm, that is a good one. Um, I'm going to give up computer skills. We're going to come down this corridor to right here. So first thing we're going to do, we'll flip over this and um, that tells me that I did not make any noise. I made it into this room, so I don't need to perform a noise roll, and there's gonna be one item to search for in this room. So as I flip this over, this is the engine control room. I find the one, I line the one up with the red marker here, and there we go. I am now in the room. I could search this one time. If I do, I'm gonna get kind of a tool item, the yellow items. And I can also spend two cards to check the status of the engines, which is handy to know. Um, all right. So we moved in here. We did it quietly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and search. So this is a free action. Um, reduce the counter by one. Draw two item cards. Pick one. Discard the other. So we're going to rotate this to zero. So that means I can no longer search in this room. I'm gonna draw two item cards from this deck and I have uh, chemicals. So I can fully load ammo in a flamethrower or an energy charge. Fully load ammo in one energy weapon or open and close one door in any corridor connected to the room you're in. Well, I don't have the flamethrower, although if I save this, this could get me the flamethrower. It could also get me the antidote or the Molotov cocktail. I don't have an energy, oh no, my shotgun is an energy weapon. Whew. And it only has two ammo. This is tough. I think I'm gonna keep the energy charge. So that's what your little tray here is for. Um, that's so you can keep, <laughs> this is designed so when you're playing semi-co-op, you can place this here and your opponents don't know what you took. Um, but it is also a handy way to keep your player area clear. Okay, so I have another search card, but I can't use it because this is a zero. So at this point, I can either do another movement. I could either move into this room or this room. Um, <clears throat> and I want to find the lab. Now, just a little bit of strategy here. The lab is always one of the essential rooms that's always on board the ship somewhere. Um, that means it's a number one room. All the number one rooms are on the outside, at least on this map. There's an alternate map on the other side. So I either want to kind of duck here and then kind of work my way around the outer edge or duck here and work my way around the outer edge. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go this way because if I go this way, yeah, because that's a number two, yeah. Then I'm either going up here and messing with coordinates which I guess would be nice to go ahead and knock that out. Just go ahead and find two intruder weaknesses and then get into the hibernatorium. Maybe that should be our goal. All right, maybe we will go that way. Okay. Um, 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 um. All right, so I'm gonna give up my search card to do another regular movement over to here. Let's flip this first and I'm slimed. Crap. Okay, and there's gonna be three items in this room. So I pull out a marker. I am slimed. 
Oh, and now I can flip this over, find the three, find the red marker, and we go there. All right, so since I did not roll, I mean, I did not get the silence one like I did last time, I'm gonna have to roll the noise die. And I rolled, <laughs> oh, that was, that was the silence. Um, so I got lucky again. I successfully walked all the way down the hallway here without making any noise. And now I'm in the armory. Uh, um, <clears throat> so I get to recharge my shotgun, but I haven't used it yet. Um, ooh. Okay. And you know what? I wasn't paying very good attention to. That's the engine control, not the fire control. Okay. So each character has these two quest items. Uh, they're these small cards that come with your starting weapon card. And you keep them face down. Obviously, once you play enough, you're going to know what's on the other side. But this gives you a little personal objective. In this case, I have to discard an energy charge to activate this item. It's going to cost me one card. I can do it in any room though, whereas my other one, I have to activate it in the fire control system room. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give up my energy charge. And you see I have to spend a card to do this. So I'm going to give up my last card in my hand, repairs, and I get to flip this over. Orbital maneuvering system. Every player, including you, must pass immediately. Well, perfect. I was going to pass anyway. Oh, I think, okay, this is if I use this. All right. This player phase immediately ends. In this event phase, skip step five, intruder attack. Interesting. Hmm. So I can skip, I can spend one to skip an intruder attack step basically. So we'll put that there. All right, that's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Um, all right, so I wish I would have held on to my energy charge now. All right, so I'm out of cards. So I obviously have to pass at this point. So again, if we look back at our card here, first thing we're going to do is move the time track down, down to 14. Then we're going to do intruder attack, which is weird because this says uh, in this event phase, skip step five. But it's actually step six is intruder attack, so that's a typo. Um, there's no intruder on the board. There's no fire on the board. Resolve an event card. Okay. So again, this would move these particular intruders down corridor one, but there aren't any. So now we have a coolant leak. If there is a malfunction marker in the generator room, start the self-destruct countdown. Well, there's not. We haven't found that room yet. Uh, remove this event from the game and reshuffle the events deck, including the discard pile. All right, so I'm going to remove this from the game. I don't have a discard pile. I guess technically I could shuffle this just for the fun of it. All right, that was a good card to get early. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is intruder bag development. So we take our intruder bag here. We get a bit of uh, nice sh truffle shuffle. And we have the larva token. So what this simply means is the larva grows up into an adult. So we put back the larva token. We take an adult token and add it to the bag. That's going to be more bad news for us in the future. All right, but other than that, we get to move on to the next player phase. So we're going to draw five cards, which you only have 10 in your deck. So if you spend all five, you get all five of them back. And let's um, let's get going here. So <clears throat> this is the first time I've played with the pilot, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm not familiar with all of her cards. If you are in a working room without a computer, use its room action without paying its cost. That's nice. Um, piloting. Yeah, interruption card, demolition, and knowledge of the ship. 
for free action, look at any one unexplored room tile, then return it face down without looking at its exploration token. Sweet. So I can basically look around and find the... Oh, yeah, I may do this right now. Okay. Okay. I like, I like where we're going with this. Okay. So I... I want to move carefully into this next area. So I'm gonna spend two cards. Yeah, because I don't have a search card, so I can't search. And I'm going to move carefully up here into the cockpit, which means I get to choose where I'm gonna put my noise marker and I'm gonna put it behind me because I plan on just continuing in one direction here. All right, so now that I'm in the cockpit, I've got some nice cards here that I can spend um if you are in the working cockpit use its room action without paying its cost um okay and just to remember the cockpit normally costs two to either check coordinates or set destination so let's go ahead and plan on getting the ship safely to Earth. So unfortunately I can only use this once. So I'm gonna spend this to check the coordinates first. So let's look at this. And we can see that Earth is A, Mars is B, Venus, and deep space. So right now we're headed to Mars, which is not where we want to go. I can leave that face up because I'm playing by myself. All right, now, I believe this is legal because this says if you are in a working room, there's no malfunction token on the cockpit. It is considered a room, so it's considered working and there is no computer symbol on it like right here. There is a computer symbol, which seems weird. You would, you would think that the cockpit would have a computer in it. Um, says you cannot perform a search action in this room. So I'm pretty sure I can use old friend, um, use its room action without paying costs. So I'm going to spend you for free to change coordinates to A. So now we're headed to Earth. All right, so I have kind of um, <clears throat> decided I either need to send the signal and destroy the nest or I need to find two intruder weaknesses. So the last card I'm gonna play is Knowledge of the Ship. I'm going to look at any one unexplored room tile, then return it face down. Again, that's another free action. I'm gonna look at this bad boy right here, so we'll keep the token right there. And that is the surgery room. So if I had a larva on me, if I was infected, uh, that would be the place to go. I kind of feel like I wanna go there too, but um, okay, but I am out of cards, so it is time to go to the event phase. We'll move this. There is no intruders, there's no fire, so let's go to our event card. There's no intruders to move. The nest, if the nest room is explored, place a noise marker in each corridor that is connected to the nest. Do not place a noise marker if one is already present. Okay, that's it, we don't, nothing to worry about there, okay, fine. Uh, intruder back development. And it is another larva. So again, we're basically just uh, growing this bag, making it more and more dangerous. Okay, so we have used all our cards. We need to simply just pick up our 10 cards. We give them a shuffle. Okay, so, ooh, I got knowledge of the ship again. I do like that. Um, okay. I don't necessarily need to know that, but I would like to know if this is it right here before I go all the way around the board. 
So let's do that right off the bat. We're going to do knowledge of the ship. We're going to peek at this guy right here. And that's the emergency room. Treat your wounds. Okay. So surgery room and emergency room. Okay. All right. So I really, I don't need the piloting card anymore. I've made good use of this in the cockpit. Um, so I'm going to use this to move into that room up there with a normal movement. So here we go. All right, I found some fire. So this room is gonna be on fire. And it is going to be the comms room, so I could go ahead and send the signal, which technically I could go ahead and do because that's one of my objectives. All right, but it was at two, so it's gonna sit just like this. It's gonna be on fire. I'm going to move into it, and I made some noise. So we got all this, and it's a four. Four is not where I wanted it to be. Would have loved for it to be th have been three. Okay. Um, all right. So I cannot. I cannot stay in this room. Uh, the question is, do I want to bother? sending the signal while I'm in here. Um, let me just check. Can I send the signal if the room is on fire? Um, comms room. All right. Ugh. And I got rid of my, oh no, I have old friend. If you are in a working room, it's technically working. It's not malfunctioning without a computer. Oh no, the comms room has a computer. Darn it. Um, er, okay, all right, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and discard these two cards to send the signal. It's not a very glamorous action, but it's one of my objectives, so I've sent the signal, and now I need to get out of that room or I'm gonna suffer a wound, so I'm gonna spend my last card to move, unfortunately, not carefully, which is what I would have preferred, but I'm gonna head over here, maybe we, nope, we found a malfunctioning room. We found the shower room, which means I can take a shower and get rid of the slime, so that's helpful. Uh, one here, it's a room where you can find anything in, which I found weird because I get it for like the bunks that you know everybody's got everything in their bunk, but does that mean somebody carried their weapon into the shower and then left it behind? Like yeah, I carried my shotgun into the shower. Um, all right, but first we're gonna have to fix the room before we can take a shower. We gotta fix those leaky pipes. All right, but we have to do a noise roll. Anything before? Anything before? And it was a one. Okay, that's actually probably best result I could have asked for other than actually no because I'm slimy I don't silence doesn't work for me right now okay but again I'm out of cards so we're gonna go through all the steps again which most of these we are skipping uh, fire damage step simply um, nobody's in that room with that's on fire so it just sits on fire itself Nobody to move, lurking, remove from the board all intruders which are not in a room with a character. Put their respective tokens into the intruder bag. I'll take that, it's not bothering me. Okay, so I need my five new cards. And I... All right, what I don't have What I don't have is a way to fix the shower room without going through my deck again. So I could search, that would be helpful. All right, so I think we will search. And I am gonna go for these two items here, see what we find. 
All right, we have an adrenaline injection. Draw one card. You may play all your actions in this single turn. Then you must pass. Okay, or alcohol. Scan or remove one contamination card from your hand if it was infected. Take. I think we'll take the alcohol because I can craft something with it in the future, but it's still not what I need. Ugh. I really don't. Mm, I really don't want to just sit here all day. Oh man, I did search in this room. So tick, 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 tick. Um. gotta find I'm still carrying around this dead corpse uh, I really don't like being slimed though so I think let's just use up some cards to move um, I'm gonna use demolition and rest to carefully move into this next room here haha -ha, I'm already slimed sucker and so this is evacuation section a try to enter an escape pod so even though it's not adjacent, um, actually it is kind of adjacent, but this is essentially wherever, even the, if this room was back here, I would still be able to get into the escape pod. So this is where I would have come, but I basically have sent the ship to be fine. So I need to find enough weaknesses in the intruders to be able to take it to earth. But all right, so this one's got a lot of things to search for, which is good. I'm already slimed, so that doesn't matter. And I moved carefully. So I can put my noise marker wherever I so choose. And I think I'm actually going to put it right here, which seems weird, but there you go. All right. There's no computer in that room. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot for me to do here, which is unfortunate, so. All right, I'm gonna pass with two cards in my hand. So this ticks down. Um, basically, we go through everything up to the event phase. All right, damaging fire, uh-oh. Place a malfunction marker in each room with a fire marker. Okay. Place a fire marker in each room neighboring a room with a fire marker. So it's spreading. Luckily, there's only two rooms, but that puts the shower room on fire. Are you kidding me? So I can run in there, take a shower, and run back out. Hopefully, that's what's going to happen. Otherwise, I'm going to be continuing on here with some very careful movement. All right. It's very unfortunate. Okay. What do we got here? We have the adult. So the adult simply means that we need to make a noise roll, which is unfortunate because... Uh, okay. All right. So... All noise tokens around this one, even if there was one in the technical corridor, would get removed. And now we have to go back to the intruder bag and figure out what's coming out. What just heard us making too much noise, what's going to come out, and it is the queen. But the queen has some special rules here, I think. Or no, I think she does go ahead and come out. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I bring the queen out. All right, so, yeah, this giant thing just came out and jumped into the room with me. 
and whoops, did I put that back in the bag? I think I did. Unfortunately, that means her number on the back side of her is probably also ridiculously high. Yep. Okay, so here's the queen that I pulled out and then threw her right back in there. And unfortunately, that is um, that number on the back is how many cards I need to uh, needed to have saved in my hand to not get attacked by her when she first comes out. It's four. It's a very high number. And I only have two cards in my hand. So this is what's known as a surprise attack. Um, so the queen jumps out at me because I made too much noise. And so we're going to draw an intruder attack card. And we see bite. So we, we don't care about this number up here. We just look down here. So we look for her symbols. Yes, it's adult, breeder, and her. So if the character has two serious wounds, they die. Nope. If not, they suffer one serious wound. So we... We just bypass the light wounds here. She doesn't even care. Um, we simply go straight to drawing a serious wound. It says body. You draw up to four action cards instead of five. Okay. So I'm going to leave that right there so I don't forget. Very unfortunate turn of events here, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> so... All right. What do we want to do now? Um, all right, that was the intruder bag development step. We are back to our turn, so. All right, um, shuffle these up. I don't, I don't even know what to do. Okay, one, two, three. All right. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, all right, so at this point we're gonna do an, an escape maneuver because we are considered to be in combat with the queen. Um, I really don't think I wanna get into fighting her at the moment. Um, Although I could just ping her a couple times. The problem with the queen is, remember how you were supposed to draw just one of these cards and check the number at the top? With the queen and the breeders, you actually draw two and add that number together. Um, <clears throat> I would love to lure her into the shower room though. Did I get my repair card? No, see that's a problem. I did not get my repair card. Um, okay, so I'm going to do an escape action, which simply means I do a basic movement. Um, she's going to get a chance to attack me as long as I survive, which I think I will. Um, I get to move to an adjoining room. Don't have to make a noise roll. So let's just, let's just deal with this. The certain cards you can like escape for free, but not this time. So. All right, <laughs> of course, it is the tail attack. If the character has at least one serious wound, they die. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm dead. Because you know what? I even, I even realized that I cheated last time. I drew one too many cards, so I shouldn't have my rest card. Um, because of my one serious wound. This is literally like the worst card you could have drawn. This is like the queen only attack card where she stabs you with her tail. Oh man. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Nemesis. It can end just like that. You got to see the queen. <laughs> you got to see half the game. I did not even come close. At this point, I, I forgot. I would have had to have chosen a um one of these to do <laughs> and i forgot to do that too so i apologize um all right i do i'm just very curious to understand where the um because i'm still carrying around this corpse i want to know where it was 
and there it is it was the very next room ladies and gentlemen if we literally had drawn like anything other than the queen we would have been able to escape to the laboratory this is my plan escape to the laboratory then I would have played this card here where I could close a door and a corridor connected to the room so I would have closed the door and that means that if an alien tries to move through a corridor with a closed door, it actually damages it. It gets pissed at it. It can't open it. So a door normally would be sitting here that you could open and close. If it's a damaged door, it blocks the hallway. Nobody can get through there unless you use a demolition card, which would essentially keep that intruder from being able to get to me, kind of block me off. Um, then my hope was, and it was exactly, I have the laboratory here. There's another escape pod. Where's the nest? The generator room. There's the nest. So I would have, you know, made my way down here, probably like through here, staying around the outside. Would have come here, picked up an egg, had to march like back through here, get the second weakness, and then come back to the hibernatorium and put myself to sleep. I think I could have done that. You know, it's not that much to ask for. I was still going to go with this one um, because I basically not set the ship up to be destroyed um, and not even mess with the engines. So that would have been the plan for the rest of the game. You could, would have seen the pathway that I would have taken. You know, I would have come down here, probably maybe gone up here and then here and into this engine room and then here finally found the nest. What was this room? cabins oh catch your breath what's this one command center oh it's okay but yeah I, I wouldn't have never even come to storage or the fire control system which is where i could have uh, gotten the evacuation key unlock the escape pods for free so anyways um but that is nemesis i can end that quickly ladies and gentlemen um, luckily this wasn't a super long playthrough, <laughs> but don't worry, it is uh, the month of October and we will be playing Nemesis again as part of our 13 games of Halloween celebration coming up later this month. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, including 13 games of Halloween on the Meeple Marathon. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.